Hey, you. Think fast. Here comes the gold team, Melissa and Josh. Here comes the blue team, John and Jill. They're here to play Think Fast. The game where fast minds and fast feet add up to fast prizes. And here's the host of Think Fast, Michael Carrington. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. And welcome, teams. Everyone, let's say hello to Josh and Melissa. Melissa, they're the gold team. And let's welcome John and Jill. They're the blue team. And boy, are we going to have fun. But right now, here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will compete in a variety of mind-twisting, body-buckling events. Each time you win, you pick up 50 bucks for your team and a chance to solve our Think Fast Brain Bender for $200. Score the most cash, and you're going back there to the locker room. Our one-minute matchup game for big prizes. Everyone ready? Okay, then let's go to our first event. Excuse me here. Let me get by you. For our first event, we're going to stink up the studio. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, get some blindfolds on these two. They're blindfolded. Can you see this? How about you? Okay, they're blindfolded. As you can see, we have some items here for you guys to smell. What you're going to do is hold these items underneath your teammate's nose and give a one-word clue. And if he gets it, he gets a point. But if he misses it, it goes over to the other team who can also give a one-word clue, and they can steal the point. All right, let's start over here with the gold team. I'm going to give you a choice. <laughs> you can either keep this one or pass it to the blue team. Do you want that? Pass it. Ooh, they're going to pass it. Okay, here we go. Take that one and give a one-word clue. Um. Help him out. Give him a clue. <laughs> Fish? Yeah, that's Fish. it. Um, clam? Okay, no, that's not correct. So it goes over to the gold team. You can add another clue and put it under your partner's nose. Get it. Where is his nose? It's here somewhere. Okay, put it underneath there. Another clue. Give him a clue. Bluefish? What'd you say? Bluefish? No, no, not a bluefish. So we're going to throw this one out. And now pick up another one over here, Blue, and give him a clue. What is that? Smell. Ooh. Animal? Egg. Animal? No, no. Okay. Pass it over to the gold and give him another clue. What is that? Hold it. She hasn't put it near your nose yet. Put it near his nose where he can smell it. Animal. Same clue. She's going with the same clue. Let's see if that right. works. What was that? Rat. Rat. No, no, that wasn't a rat. Let's go for blue. Here's another one. Put it under there and see if he can smell it. Swiss. Cheese. There we go. There's the one. Very good. Okay, let's see. Let's open this one up, Gold, and put it under his nose and give him a clue. Cold. Cough drop. What was that? Cough drop. Yeah, all right, that's it. Cough drop. Very good. So that's one apiece. Here you go. Put that under his nose and give him a clue. Laundry. Um. Anything? Soap. Soap. So? No, judges say no. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, judges say yeah, that was, it's so. Come on. All right, let's see, which one do you want? Oh, time is up. That means the blue team wins it with two guesses. You take the blindfold off. Let's come around here, join me, follow, follow, follow. Well, you're on the board first with $50 and a chance at today's Think Fast Brain Bender. We're going to show you a photograph of a celebrity. If you can tell me who it is, you win $200. Ready? Here's the first clue. Any guesses? Oh, that's a tough one. No, that's okay because we're going to see the Brain Bender after each event. But right now, Blue's on the board first with $50. And let's meet our contestants. John and Jill, the blue team. 
I understand, Jill, that you love animals, yes. huh? What does that mean? Well, I want to be a veterinarian when I get older. She's going to be a vet. Very good. We can always use more veterinarians. <sighs> and John wants to be a comedian. John, why don't you tell us a joke? <laughs> all right. There's three men. They're all in the desert. One's a real smart genius. One's just a regular guy. And one's stupid. Uh huh. All right. So all, they all can bring one thing to cool off. So the smart one brings a canteen of water so he can drink it in case he gets hot. The second one brings a fan so he can cool himself off. So the stupid guy, he brings a door. So go, the other two guy go, why'd you bring a door? And he goes, well, I can roll the window down just in case I get hot. I can roll the window down in case it gets hot. All right, that's Josh. And hey, let's meet, let's meet Josh and Melissa. How you doing? Now, Josh tells me he works with cement. What do you do with cement, Josh? Well, I help my dad in the summer because he's a cement mason. Very good. I got some guys in Brooklyn who work with cement. They make shoes for guys, but the, <laughs> that's a long story. And Melissa, <laughs> people say Melissa walks like a duck. Why do they say that, Melissa? Because I sort of sway when I walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> duck walk. Well, well, you have to show it to us later. But right now, let's, boys, come on. We'll go on to our next event. Hi there. Our next event, what we're going to be doing is cleaning out the attic. This is our Think Fast attic. But we do things a little differently here because the items in our attic are divided up into two different words. For instance, if I said look for an egg roll, you wouldn't look for an egg roll that you find in a Chinese restaurant. What you would look for is an egg and a roll. That's the way we do it here. Now, I'm going to give you some clues, and you'll have to find these items on your shelves. Ready? Get ready to buzz in and then go to that shelf and find the item. Here's the first clue. This is a musical instrument played in the Scottish Day Parade. What is it? Buzz in when you think you know what it is and find it on the shelf. Something played in the Scottish Day Parade. What do those Scotsmen play? Come on over here and see if you can find it. What is it? What do those Scottish guys play? Uh-huh. Hurry up, come on. Mm, what's that thing, Nose? What are those things right there? <laughs> Okay, that's it. You got it. You got it in your hand. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. What is it? Turn Bag around point. and tell them out here. Bagpipe. A bagpipe. That's what they play. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to our next event. Our next clue. The next thing you're looking for is a grown-up caterpillar. When caterpillars grow up, they turn into these. What is it? Okay, come around the back here and take a look. Come around the back. He's got something there. What else do you got? Okay, what is it? Butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah, it's one of these. All right, go on back. Here's our next clue. Now you're looking for a great breakfast that you pour syrup on. What do you have? Come around. <laughs> Come around. All right. Come around. Take a look. What's that? That's something. He's got one half of the word. Oh, and he's got another half of the word. What is that? Pancake. A pancake. Yeah. Is that time? Did time run out on that one? Did time run out? Okay. That means blue picks up another $50. Come on over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Because not only, come this way, come over here, John. <laughs> not only did you pick up another $50, but you picked up another shot at today's Think Fast Brain Bender. Remember, we're going to show you a photograph of a celebrity. So if you could tell me who it is, you win $200. Ready? Here's another clue. Um, Debbie Gibson. Okay, John thinks it's Debbie Gibson. Is it Debbie Gibson? Way to go, John. The blue is now leading 300. Gold still waiting to get on the board. And we're going to our next event. Come on, this way. All right, guys, climb up the ladder there. Climb on up. This event is called Plumber's Blackjack. Yeah, it's played like regular blackjack, only we play with beakers of water. <laughs> Excuse me. The object of the game is to fill your canisters up to the red line. And like in blackjack, go as high as you can go without going over. But which beaker you choose depends on the luck of the cards. Ready? Pick a card, any card. 
What do you got there? Nine. He's got a nine. Let's go over to the blue team. Pick a card, any card. He's got a two. That means the gold team goes first. And let me put this thing down, and I'll pass you your beaker. Number nine, you get beaker. No oh, boy, this big one over here. Pour it down. Let's see what happens. He's pouring. Will this go to the red line? Will it go over? Oh, no. Oh, close, but not close enough. Okay, let's go back to the blue. I'm going to pick you another card. Actually, you get this one first. You start off with the deuce. There's a number two beaker. Pour it right in. There it goes. No, not enough. All right, I'm going back to gold. I'm going to pick you the next card. He's got a seven, which means he gets beaker number seven. Where is that? This one here. This one might do it. Hey, is it going to go over or is it close? Let's see. Over! Oh, that means blue picks up this one, too. All right, very good going. Very good. Very good. And the score is now blue, 350. Gold hasn't gotten on the board yet, which means we're going to go to a commercial. But when we come back, each event will be worth 100 points, so it's anybody's game. some of the great prizes today's winners can take home from a trip to the locker room. Franklin's Language Master. It's a complete dictionary, a complete thesaurus, and completely revolutionary. The world's first electronic dictionary defines 80,000 words by Merriam-Webster. Shinsei's radio-controlled Super Fox race car comes ready to run. Its super high-speed motor and full-function steering put you in the driver's seat from up to 100 feet away from Shinsei. Rokina International's working on professional type 35mm focus-free camera. Motor advance and rewind includes hard case from Rokina International. And now, back to Michael as our teams prepare for some unusual hunting. Hi, and welcome back to Think Fast. The score is now blue, 350, gold, not yet on the board, but now each event is worth $100. So gold, go for the cash money because you get to take home everything you win. Right now we're going to play a game called Hot and Cold. And the object of this game is, oh boy, look at this, look what we have here. What has happened is somewhere in these bunch of cans, the gold team has hidden a flower for the blue team to find, and the blue team has hidden a gold flower for the gold team to find. And these are our hunters. They're going to search for these flowers. But we're not just going to say you're getting hotter and you're getting colder. That would be too easy. So when they are getting hotter and colder, the girls are going to throw ice cubes for when they get cold and hot peppers for when they get hot. OK, everyone ready? Then think fast. Start throwing them and let me get out of here. Oh, you're cold. You're so cold. She's telling you you're cold. Gold is telling you you're cold. And remember, don't open up the other person's can by mistake, because then you'll lose. Make sure you open up your own can. Oh, you're so cold over there. She's throwing ice cubes at you. Let's see what happens. They're both cold. How can they both be cold? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. She's got a hot pepper on the blue. She's got a hot pepper. She's throwing a hot pepper. Yeah! Very good. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Found it, found it, found it. That means blue picks up another 100 points, so the score is now blue 450. Gold, I'm sorry, you ain't got nothing yet, but we're going to go on to our next event. Come on, everyone. Girls, follow me this way. Girls, step into my laboratory where I've created a monster. <laughs> the object of this game, uh, we have Frankenstein laid out here catching some rays. What you want to do is wake them up by throwing these switches either up or down or a combination of both, and that will trigger Frankenstein when you hit the right positions. Okay? After each time you throw the switch, make sure you hit that test button to see if it works. And then the first team to find the right combination on the switches wins. Get ready to think fast. Go! They're going. Throw it down. Throw it up. Let's see which way. And make sure you hit that test button after each time you throw it. Keep moving it. Keep moving those switches. Make sure they're all the way down or all the way up. And press that test button over there, Gold. All right. Keep pressing it. That's not the right combination, so you got to try it again. Keep moving it. Press it. Come on. There we go. Yes! There he is. He's alive. He's alive. Very go, Melissa. Good, Melissa. 
You woke up Frankie and uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what we're going to do with him now that, he, that he's awake, but you picked up $100, so that's very good. And that means the final score is blue 450, gold 100, which means John and Jill, you're going to the locker room. Come on out here. Yeah, they're going. You guys are going. Very good. But... Let's say goodbye to our second place team. You guys played very well. You get to keep the money you've won, plus these great prizes. James. Melissa and Josh, time to light up your room with Diana, our glowing neon wall clock. This hot time piece makes any room explode with light. Made in the USA by Cecina. With a computer calling the shots, you've got to think on your feet to win Bandai's L.A. Shuffle game. Everybody's doing the L.A. Shuffle. So can you, only from Bandai. And you'll enjoy hours of Disney fun from Disney's collection of brilliant animated cartoons, including brand new Mickey and the Gang, now available on video cassette from Walt Disney Home Video. Michael? John and Jill, you played a great game, which means you're going to the locker room now where we're going to make big matches for even bigger prizes. So we're going to take a walk back here, and we'll see you when we come back. John and Jill, you've made it to the locker room. You guys played a great game. Excited? Yeah. Yeah, this locker room is intense, man. It's, like, really intense. And John wants to be a comedian. You know, John, when I told my parents I wanted to be a comedian, my mother freaked out. She said, I'm not funny. Your father's not funny. Where did we go wrong? So, the world could always use more laughter, John, so stick with it. And now that we're at the locker room, I'm going to tell you how it's played. Behind each one of those locker doors is something. Something is lurking behind each one of those doors. What you want to find are six pairs that match. And when you make a match, you'll hear a bell. When you hear that bell, run down here and hit that button. That'll close up all the doors. And then we will show you your next match. Got it? Okay. You want to tell a joke? No. Nah, it gets stage fright. <laughs> but anyway, you've already seen the incredible, wonderful, fantastic prizes you win for the first three matches. Let's see what they can win for the last three. James. More incredible, fantastic prizes, Michael. Hitachi's dual cassette recorder, three amplifiers with a woofer, tweeter, mid-range, and powerful speaker system. A masterpiece in technology from Hitachi. Check these out. Magna bikes with the power to climb and accelerate. Bikes for today. Why not try the next generation of bicycles? Magna, the hot new name on the street. And launch yourself into the future at the real space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. You and a friend will share the adventure of a lifetime at the Space and Rocket Center, Earth's largest space museum. From moonwalking to a real shuttle from space camp. Michael? Here's a joke, John. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> One more thing I should mention about the locker room. There is a time bomb behind one of those locker doors. It's set to go up after 20 seconds. If you find it, we'll add 10 seconds to your partner's time. But if it goes off, we'll subtract 10 seconds from her time, and she'll have to make her remaining matches with only 20 seconds. Now, let's show him where his first match is. It's in locker number 12. Oh, my goodness. How would you like to be married to that? No. No, he doesn't want to be married to that. <laughs> okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Think fast. He's off. Where's that other housewife? Where is she? Boy, is she back. There's the match. Come on back. Come on, close them up. Where's this next match? Locker number four. It's a chicken. Where's that other chicken? There's a match. Come on back. Watch it there. Whoa, he's so fast. Where's this next match? It's confetti. Where's that other confetti? There it is. Another match. Come on back. Oh, my goodness. Where is his next match? Another match. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, he was so fast. Come on over. Stay right here. Time is up. How many matches did he get? Judges. He made four matches. And did he find... And did he find that time bomb, judges? Judges, did he find the time bomb? He found the time bomb, which means there it was in locker number 11. We're going to add 10 seconds on to your partner's time to find the remaining matches. Okay, very good. Come on out here, Jill. Well, Jill, I've got good news. Your partner found the time bomb. We're going to add 40 seconds all together. 40 seconds you'll have to find the remaining two matches. Ready? Let's show her where her first match is. 
Locker number one, those balls. Do you remember where those balls were? Okay, then let's go. Think fast. She's off. Where are those balls? Where are they? Come on, Jill, take a look. Keep looking around. There they go. There they were. Close it up. There's the match. Where's her next match? Where is her next? Caveman. It's the caveman. Where was that other caveman? Where are you? There's another match. Come on, then, Jill. Close them up. Where's her next match? That's it. Oh, my goodness. She did it. Six. They got all six. Come on over here. Oh, man, you guys are fast. That was really fast. How do you feel about that one, huh? Great. Great. Oh, boy, you guys were all over there. And look at this mess. You found the cavemen. You found beach bunnies. You found a housewife. Oh, my goodness, intense. Oh, boy. So you got all six. You're going to clean us out here. Boy, we're going to have to give away six prizes, but we don't care. We got them. We got them to give away. All right. So let's tell them what they won, James. They won it all. The Language Master, the remote control car, the camera, the boombox, the bikes, and the trip to space camp, Michael. Oh, my goodness. They cleaned us out, but we don't care. We love giving away prizes. So let's say goodbye to our big winners. And this is Michael Carrington saying, well, you don't have time to think twice, then think fast. Promotional consideration provided by Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you need. Delicious, sunny delight, Florida Citrus Punch. Great taste for the whole family morning, noon, and night. Nothing delights you like sunny delight. The Ray-Ban. The Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bosch and Long. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors.